Hey guys, what is up and welcome to a new League of Legends video. First off, I want to apologize for my voice guys, I am still sick so it is going to be sounding a little bit differently in this video. But I really wanted to talk about this topic because Talia, a new champion, just got teased by Riot. Now there's a whole story written about her several chapters and now in this video I'm not going to be going through each of the chapters and talking about them. Instead what we're going to be doing is looking at very specific parts throughout this whole story and trying to figure out what her potential abilities can be. Now Riot is known to always have very small kind of subtle hidden messages whenever they release any form of teasers. Just like they did with the Rallian Sauls teaser because because you're able to see his eye in the very top right of the corner and you're also able to see his claws if you look very closely at the screen. So the same type of principle will be applied to this Talia story as well. So I spent some time doing some research, looking at what other people are saying, community posts, and I found out some very interesting information. I will be referencing a post made by someone named Remunde, so if you want to check it out, I'll have a link to it in the description below. But let's not waste any more time and get right into the detail. So in Talia's lore, she does end up meeting and having a bit of an adventure with Yasuo. But the reason I bring up Yasuo is because throughout her lore, there are several instances where Yasuo's abilities are described. For instance, here it says, In the heartbeats that follow, the whirling gust picked up from inside the inn. It spiraled out from the man beside her, blowing abandoned glasses and wooden dinner trenches off of tables. It reached the arrows, breaking them mid-flight. The pieces fell to the ground with a hollow clatter. This seems to be describing Yasuo's W, his wind wall. But there's still more examples. In her lore, there's another description of Yasuo battling. Yasuo slipped through the crowd of soldiers trapped in the room. They brandished their weapons, foolishly trying to parry the sword that stormed around them, its metal arcing like lightning. So essentially, Yasuo dashing around and killing people left and right, obviously resembling his E ability sweeping blade. And finally, there's also Yasuo's ultimate reference in her lore. As the captain's body was knocked up, Yasuo was there to meet it, the cold blade cutting through the captain's chest in three quick strikes. Which is exactly what Yasuo does in his ultimate. So now that we have some proof that this lore is in fact depicting certain champion abilities, so in this case Yasuo, the chances that they did the same thing for Talia's abilities in her own lore is very high. So next, let's go through some potential Talia abilities. So the first thing is going to be this one right here. The rock beneath the inn burst in great rounded arcs. Stone columns threaded themselves in and out of the ground like a wave. Talia felt the earth rise, carrying her out into the dark night, the wild wind that was Yasuo following close behind. This definitely sounds like a potential passive ability, very similar to how maybe Aurelian Saul works, where she has rocks flying around her and she can either use them to empower her abilities or essentially use them for her abilities to begin with. And following that, we have this part of the lore. The suddenly flexible stone wavered at its peak as if looking to her for guidance. This one might be her Q ability because usually the Q ability are ones that you can kind of spam. It's your more or less bread and butter that you just harass with and is usually on a low cooldown. So this might just mean her Q is just essentially to throw rocks, maybe combined with her passive. Next up, we have this part of the lore. She desperately focused, pulling on the rough edges of the visible rock. A row of thick columns sprang from the ground. The stone blockade reached far over her head just as the crushing white avalanche slammed into it with a heavy wump. Now this might potentially be something like her W ability, something where she creates some form of wall. Now since she has relation to Yasuo in her lore, and since also the creator of this champion is the same one that made Azir, this really doesn't seem completely far-fetched. Now her W ability that creates the wall might potentially block everything somewhat similar to Yasuo's wind wall, but it seems like hers might be able to break. So the enemy players can actually attack it and break it prematurely. But again, this is all just a guess and pure speculation. But let's move on to the next piece of lore. Get away from him, Talia pulled at the cobbled floor of the inn, the flat stones erupting, lifting the captain off his feet. Not as descriptive, but it still gives you a pretty decent idea that maybe her E ability is some form of knock-up type ability. And in the lore, she only uses it on one person, that being the captain, so maybe this is only a single target knock-up ability. And the final part of course being the ultimate is as follows. A rumbling built beneath her, louder than the growl of the beast. The lion tried to back away but it was already too late. The ground split beneath its thick paws into a sluice of swirling gravel, the weight of the creature pulling it farther down the crumbling cliff. 
So this obviously seems like some potential AoE CC type ability, probably making use of the new CC mechanic called Grounded. If you're not aware, Grounded is actually on the new Cassiopeia's W ability, where as long as you are on the ability and you get the debuff called Grounded, you are not allowed to use any movement type abilities. This CC seems very fitting of her overall playstyle, of course, being some form of Earth type mage. But either way guys, that is it for this video. Those right there are potentially what could be Talia's abilities. Obviously we don't know for sure and we won't know until she finally gets revealed. But I still thought it was a really interesting topic and an interesting read. So if you guys did enjoy this video, even though my voice sounds like shit, please definitely hit that like button, share this with your friends, you guys know what to do. And I thank each and every one of you so much for watching. Peace.